Hi guys, it's Stacey here from tycoonfactory.com and forexcellence.trade. So I wanted to make a quick video today about a question that I get asked quite a lot, which is about uh, swap fees. So people want to know what they are, what they're all about. Now, a swap fee is that kind of pesky little fee you get charged when you keep a trade open over a market reset. So basically, if you leave a trade open overnight, you've probably noticed the next day that not only have you got your commission on there, if your broker is a commission based broker, but you've also got something called swap. And basically what it is, is it's a fee for holding your positions over a, a market close and reset the next day. So this is variable depending on things like your broker, depending on the pair that you're trading. And it tends to have, most brokers have a night where they'll charge sort of three swap fees in one go. And so an example of this would be on a Wednesday, for example, they will charge, my broker will charge triple the swap fee. So I never try and hold trades over a Wednesday night because of the fact that the swap fees are huge. Um, and obviously that can have quite a big impact on your profit margin on the trade if you are holding it. And the reason they do that is because they haven't had any swap fees over the weekend. So that Wednesday is just to sort of try and compensate for that a little bit. But to find out a little bit about what your broker is doing in terms of swap fees, what you can do is you've got your market watch open here on MT4. So you can obviously see all the pairs that are available to trade and you can just literally right click on one of them and select specification. And that's going to bring you all of the information about that particular pair. So you can see here that it's a float and spread. You can see how many digits there are in the actual number, uh, stop level, contract size. But the part we're really interested in today, what we're talking about is the swaps. And you can see that here. So what you'll find is that generally major pairs, so anything that is traded on the dollar, they have a smaller swap fee than some of the larger kind of minor pairs. So to give you an example, let me look at something like AUDNZD here. And you can see when we come down to the swap fees, you're kind of looking at 352 or 274 there. Whereas if we look at AU again, Two twenty six and one four. So you can see it's a, a big difference. Um, so if you're going to hold trades long term, it's worth holding out for the kind of major pairs if you are concerned about swap fees. Some people aren't worried about them at all because they sort of really long term swing traders and the profit that they're going to get in the long term, it, it's a bit irrelevant to them. But it's worthwhile checking out these swap fees for your particular uh, trade. Now, bear in mind, these are in points. They're also done based on a standard lot. So if you're trading micro lots or mini lots, that's going to be much smaller amount. That is just the amount that it would be if you were looking at a standard lot. And then the other thing to consider as well is that sometimes I've never seen it on my broker and I would love to see it on my broker. These won't be negative. So sometimes these will actually be positive. And when that happens and you hold over market reset, you actually get paid to hold the trades long term so it's worthwhile checking these out because if you've got any of them with your broker that are positive rather than negative swap fees you're going to get paid to hold them longer so those are really nice because if you're trading sort of bigger lot sizes and eventually you will be even if you just start with smaller lot size right now but if you're trading bigger lot sizes then you know those can add up really quite significantly so it's definitely worthwhile thinking about checking those out so i hope that that's been helpful in explaining a little bit about what a swap fees what a swap fees all about you will get charged them or credited them overnight every night apart from on a weekend um, and I say overnight it's overnight here for me in the UK because the market reset happens around about 10 p.m. here obviously if you're in the different part of the world it may not necessarily be overnight for you um, it's just whenever the market reset happens in your time zone and market reset is based around uh, the US closure so that's what I would be looking at there Definitely check these out because if they are positive, you're actually going to get credited for holding your trades. Like I say, that can add up. Hope that's been helpful. Any questions, as always, please do ask. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be doing loads more videos on MT4. I've got some MT5 videos that I want to get out. Um, and also, obviously, I do have a few videos that are related to more businessy topics. Okay, guys, take care, and I'll see you in another video.